it's Monday morning. We are off for a walk to hide some rocks this morning. Um, we're doing fungus this week for our Exploring Nature with Children curriculum. And actually we went out yesterday with um, Steve's mum and so Nanny and we um, actually found some fungus and stuff so I did a quick lesson for Stan when I knew we were going out um, <clears throat> and just did a bit of background research so I'll insert the footage here of what we found oh, that's pretty cool isn't look it? Look at that one, it's growing! Yeah. You can have a look at that one? Look at those ones and there's more yeah. growing look, here this one. Do you remember this how? Broken. Wah, wah, wah. Broken. Yeah. yeah that's already broken isn't it? Bend down underneath you bend down and have a look properly underneath. I'm also going to learn a little bit about the gunpowder plot today. I haven't done that so far with Stan, so I thought, you know, I think he's old enough to kind of understand it a bit better now. Um, so I've printed off some resources. We'll do that when we come back, but Steve's off this week. Um, so we're going to go and do a walk, hide some rocks, and um, this afternoon we've got a learning group at two, which is a local mum that does this. Um, I won't film during that, but I'll pop some photos in and bits. Um, but we're going to do some bits about Van Gogh. So the lady that runs the group is actually leading it this time. We take it in turns normally. There's only like three families that do it. Um, but it's just really nice, and she lives quite locally. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. So they're all playing Lego at the moment. As you can hear, it's nice and peaceful. Um, but we're going to head out in a minute, choose some rocks to hide. A rock from someone else, no. didn't you? It's our first uh, find because we're the ones that always uh -huh, hide maybe, them. Look and you can go and have a look, see if there's any more. Someone might have hid some more. So we're back from a nice muddy walk. Everything's in the washing machine or the waterproofs. Ow. Daddy's helping Ronnie with some Lego, isn't he, Stan? So yes. we're going to actually learn a little about where have you gone? About why we celebrate the fifth of November. Yeah. yeah? So we're going to do why that. Why do you have to do fireworks? Because it's wind. Well, this is what I'm going to tell you about, and it's called the gunpowder plot. Okay, that's why we remember it. Did so we're going to have a look. Did you mm. know Daddy's just teaching? Um, Runny some colours with Lego, and yeah. all the colours are done with Lego. Now I he's doing he's doing the shapes with him. Yeah, so he's trying to teach him some shapes and stuff yeah. while he's in the mood. So we're going to have a little learn about the gunpowder plot. So I've got some resources from my history books here, and some printouts, and one from Twinkle about the gunpowder plot. I'll use a YouTube video. Um, we'll discuss it. Some of this we'll, we won't do today. We'll just do a couple of bits today. Probably maybe this sheet. And just kind of see how we go, I think, time-wise. What was a gunpowder plot? Over 400 years ago, in, 19, in 1605, so you know it's 2000 odd now. This is 16, this is a long time ago. A man called Guy Fawkes, along with his 12 friends from York, decided to try and blow up the English government. There it is. Okay, treason. So what does it say for treason? No, the crime or... But, 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 betraying. Betraying. Your country, for example, by spying for another country. When did the gunpowder plot take place? Excuse the washing machine noise, but we've got some leftover macaroni and cheese that I made the other day and I've just popped some chicken nuggets on it because there wasn't that much. Steve's got the same boys. 
but I've just got some tuna with it. Oh, and some cucumber on the side as well, just a quick, easy lunch and use up some leftovers. So the boys are waiting, we've had some lunch, the boys are waiting, and we're going to actually sit and watch Blue Planet together, which was on the BBC One, um, which was on BBC One last night. And it's good, isn't it, Sam? It's all about nature. It's David Attenborough. Yeah. If you haven't heard of him, I'm sure you have. David when he's a bit tired. So I am just going to tackle, while we're doing that, I've just got things everywhere on the floor because I'm trying to sort the washing out. So this big pile needs folding. There's my rock tray. I don't know where to put this. There's just like nowhere to put it. Rat bed in from yesterday that's all clean. Um, and this pile needs to be hung up. So I'm going to do that. We've got yeah. our waterproofs and stuff from this morning. I'm going to do that beforehand because laundry always needs to be done, doesn't it, Stan? We're off to learning group. Yes. We won't take you in with us, but I will um, pop some photos in if I can here. Group. We had a nice time, didn't we, Stan? Stan created, you would have seen the photos, but there's the canvas. And you? Yeah, you're playing with your Lego. And Stan's just done a gun pop plot, um, a gunpowder plot uh, word search, and Daddy helped you, but you pretty much do it yourself. Was, you? It was easier to fly through it. It's yeah. like Mummy had a wee, then I was finished. Right, thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> So now, because we did Van Gogh at Learning Group, uh, we've got a paint by number here. So Stan's going to have a go at doing that, and I'm going to peel some potatoes. Uh, we are going to have some dinner. We're just going to have um, mashed potato, beans, and cold meat from yesterday. We've got some chicken left over. So we're just going to have that, and that will be a simple tea, I think, tonight. So it's 6 o'clock, and we are actually fed, cleared up, washed, and ready for bed. Well, the boys are, anyway. So... Um, I'm going to go and edit this video, I think. We've had quite a successful day. It's nice having Steve home that bit earlier. Well, all day, but you know what I mean. It's just nice to be done a bit earlier is what I'm saying. So while Steve's off this week, I thought I would try to film a quick um, how's this year going so far kind of type video um, about the resources we're using, what we're not using so much, what we're enjoying or not enjoying. Um, so just let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, it would just be like kind of a chatty video with just me. So um, just let me know if that's something you would like to see in the comments below. And thank you for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!